Hi again, here we are to continue talking about the table view. Um, in the last video, we got the table view just to display 10 rows that all say the same thing. Why don't we do this now? Let's make a, um, make each table view row display something different, okay? So what I'm going to do is go to the top of my class, okay, um, after the curly brace here, but so I'm inside the class, and I'll define a variable, okay? So this variable will be an array, um, you know, and I'll make it like a lowercase, make it lowercase array because uppercase means the, the, the array type. So we'll make it lowercase, right? And what we're going to do with this array is make it an array of strings, okay? So we can say, you know, like A, um, B, C, right? And you can do as many of these as you want. I'll do D, right? So I'll have four rows, okay? So each one of these is going to represent a piece of data that we want to display in the table view, okay? So we need to tell the table view how many items we have. So what we'll do is down here in number of rows in section, we're returning 10 rows, but actually the data that we have only has four items in it. So the array here, which represents data that we want to display, it's only got four pieces of data. So what we're going to do is we're going to say array.count. So when, you know, the table view asks us, hey, how many rows are in this section? What we're going to say is we're going to say, hey, look at the array and count the number of items in it and return that number, which in our case will be four. Okay, so that's pretty good. So now in the um, cell for row at index path, what we'll do is instead of displaying hello world, what we'll do is we'll, we'll take the array and cell for row at index path um, is, has an, a, an index path property that tells us which item in the array that we want to display, right? So this has two, um, this, this index path object has two properties. It's got a, a section and a row, okay? So every table view can be divided into sections, and every section can have a number of rows in it. Our table view has one section, and each one of these items here will be one of the rows. So this will be the first row, the second row, the third row. So what we're going to do is in array right here, we're going to say index path dot row, okay? And so when the table view asks for some data, it's going gonna, it's gonna to call this table view cell for row at index path method once for each, each item here in the array. It's really going to do it once for everybody that we counted over here, right? So we told it how many rows there were, and then it's going to repeat this method once for each row, okay? And then we can use the index path to tell us which row it's asking for, okay? So anyway, let's give it a try. So if I hit run... I should see four rows, right? So that looks like it's working pretty good. Okay, so thanks for watching, and we'll continue in the next video.